A 35-year-old male presents to the emergency department with new onset seizures. So the patient in this situation most likely has a cavernous malformation or a cavernoma, which is a tangle of abnormal blood vessels in the brain. Now, unlike an arteriovenous malformation where an arterial system and a venous system are interconnected without the intervening capillaries, a cavernoma is just a low pressure tangle of very soft blood vessels. A typical presentation is a young adult with a new onset seizure as provoked by the cavernoma. Now, cavernomas can bleed, which can be catastrophic. Once they've demonstrated a bleed, the risk of rebleeding actually increases. Treatment for symptomatic or hemorrhagic cavernomas involves a resection, which is done very similar to removing a brain tumor. This can be done by a craniotomy where a portion of the skull is removed, and then the cavernoma is accessed through the brain disconnected from the surrounding brain tissue and removed entirely. Some prior studies have looked at radiosurgery as an option for treatment of cavernomas, but this is not typically recognized as a first-line approach. Cavernomas exhibit this typical popcorn appearance on MRI, and you may see hemosiderin lining the lesion as a result of microhemorrhages that are occurring over time. A fun fact about cavernomas, they are what's called angiographically negative, which means they do not show up on a formal angiogram.